Okay, a 2015 uh, question of, of a sample or a mock paper. Mark works two jobs. He works in Bob's Bakery and in Cure's Cafe. He's paid 11 euros 50 an hour for his work in Bob's Bakery and 9.30 an hour for his work in Cure's Cafe. In one week, he worked a total of 34 hours and he was paid a total of 36240. Find how many hours he worked in Bob's Bakery in this week. Okay, so he worked a total of 34 hours and was paid uh, 36240. Okay, so um, there's, there's a little, I suppose, helpful tip here in that um, if it's one of these questions, let the money equal the money and let the other variable equal the other variable. Now, I know that sounds a bit fluffy and generic, but it's just trying to help you for all types of questions. OK, so let the money equal the money. OK, so in Bob's Bakery. Will we let the number of hours equal, will we go capital B? You could also go X. And in Kira's Cafe, let's let the number of hours equals C. Okay, so of course they could be X and Y, they can be anything you want. So how many hours then did Mark work? Okay, well, we know he worked 34 hours. So the number of hours he did in Bob's Bakery plus the number of hours he did in Kira's Cafe must equal 34. OK, so we've two unknowns, B and C. So we're going to be setting up simultaneous equations. So there's the first one. Now, the next one is let the money equal the money. So in Bob's Bakery, he's paid 11.50 per hour. OK, so no matter how many hours he works, he's going to get paid 11.50 per hour. So that's 11.50 by B or 11.50 B. OK, in Kira's Cafe, then he gets paid 9.30 an hour in Kira's Cafe. So it's 9.30 C. So let the money equal the money. His total wages then is 36.240. And there's your second simultaneous equation. OK, and we solve them. OK, so just like any of the simultaneous equations, I have to cancel B or C. So I either have to bring this up to 930 to cancel this one or I have to bring this one up to 1150. OK, and again, it doesn't matter. Um, let's cancel the B's in this case. So let's multiply this one by 1150. OK. So then I go 11.50 by B is 11.50 B. 11.50 by C is 11.50 C. And then 11.50 by the 34 is equal to 3.91. That's 11.50 by 34. OK, and I just take down the second equation, which was 1150B plus 930C being equal to 36240. OK, I have to change the sign, change the sign, change the sign, put a line under it, and now my Bs cancel. So into my calculator then, I'm going 1150 minus 930, and I'm getting 220C being equal to 391 minus 36240. And I'm getting 2860. Divide by the number in front of C. So divide that by 220. And I'm getting 13 hours. OK, so a couple of things to point out here. This is a fairly hard simultaneous equation, or it could be if you let it. I am not changing my method, even though there was a decimal in front of B, it doesn't matter. I just multiply the equation by the decimal and your calculator is doing the hard work. OK, so try not be intimidated by the decimal. 
And the other thing here, I just divided by the number in front of C, even though again, it was a decimal. Don't let it bother you. If that was two C is equal to 14, you would have just divided by the number in front of C. That is all that we're doing here. So it's the st same steps, just harder numbers. Okay, now we know that the number of hours she, uh, Mark has done in Kira's cafe is 13. This is obviously the easier question to, or the easier equation to sub it into, but you could sub it into either, but I'm going to sub into, sub in to get B. Okay, so I had B plus C being equal to 34. I now know that C is 13. So bring it over or subtract from both sides. So 34 minus 13 is 21. Okay, so find out how many hours he worked in Bob's bakery. So we said B was Bob's bakery. So answer 21 hours in Bob's bakery.